My question is always, how can my music create a parallel universe where people enjoy reality free of reason, as if they were an audience watching their own movie? Music inoculates imagination in the everyday. People get married to music, celebrate with music, say goodbye with music. It's a way to free ourselves of the conflicts and limitations of our own mind, to unconsciously explain the things about existence that reason simply cannot. It expands our universe, allowing us to understand reality through sensation and feeling rather than logic. To be able to create, we must start by speaking the musical language. And to learn it, we should learn it like we did our native one, by listening. We first listen it and then imitate it. That's how we learn to speak and eventually to connect words with the specific emotions. I believe the musical language should be learned the same way. First, we use our ears and try to imitate what we like. We attempt to figure out notes of a melody, we find appealing and the sound of the chord or play them in an instrument. An intuitive process of trial and error. Of all my years learning in the traditional music educational system, what I value most is ear training. It helped me to hone my ears capacity to quickly discern what I was hearing. It has been the essential tool in my process. I feel we have to train our ears so they can feed on the unlimited number of melodies, rhythms, timbres, textures and sounds. This makes our creative process deeper and better suited to evolve. My first contact with music was classical music. I discovered I wanted to be a musician when I was seven, becoming obsessed with Bach, Toccata, and Fugue in D minor. I heard and tried to play using the uh, out of tune piano that I used to have in my house. After that, it was Pink Floyd, Peter Gabriel, and Super Trump. Every time I was able to play a song I liked, I felt I could come up with something new. I would sit down to improvise for hours with all the chords and melodies that I had stored in my musical memory. The process seemed less hard each time because my ear was more and more used to recognizing patterns and, and structures. The structures that when I went to the conservatory were simply assigned a name in a textbook. Since my initial discovery, I haven't stopped listening to music doing research on it and trying to discern the qualities that make something move me. I do it every day. That is the kind of education that I want to share with the new generation of musicians. An education based on euphony. What sounds good. Because after more than 40 years of music in my ears and hands, after locking access to private resources, after learning new dialects in the language of music, after all that, my motivation is still the same. What music can I make today to help me and others dream?